We are Team Aquila, and our project brief was to develop a military surveillance drone. This is our project. We're Team Helios, our project brief was to create a surveillance tank and this is what we created. We all came together with different skill sets, different ideas and we, were, we learned to collaborate with each other, discuss these ideas to create a project we could all be happy with at the end. Well, we you know did a bit of looking at other designs that you know already exist. So um, we got inspiration from tanks, and also used tank tracks and other different ways of um, exploring um, different kinds of like land, you know, like sand and ground and things like that. We divided up the project in three sections. These were mechanical, electrical, and coding. These were based upon people's individual strengths and weaknesses. I think it was um, a lot easier because what we did was we separated the team of six into smaller teams of two um, and gave each team a certain task to complete over a certain period of time and say, right, okay, you're in charge of this side of the plan. So, for example, we had a manufacturing team, uh, electronics team and a coding team. And so each had a specific task and we divided all the tasks up evenly. So for this project, teamwork and communication was vital. It has to be integrated into communication between the teams and between uh, individuals within uh, said teams. We had split it down into the mechanical side of the um, project, the design and the electrical. During the project we had a, we, communication was very essential to our, uh, to our teamwork and just the final product. So we had set up a OneDrive group where we could uh, dump all of our uh, IT essentials into. Uh, I think the most useful skill I learned was I uh, developed and maintained my programming skills, specifically in Python, which I think will be useful for my university course. And yeah, we use I use Python as well, so I learned how, you, how to use the Raspberry Pi and how to connect the GPS module to a USB and how to get the coordinates to all link up and work together. So there's many things you can learn, like um, how to 3D print or how to um, wire a camera up properly or something. Yeah, I learned a lot about how to use SolidWorks. I went from almost not being able to use it at all to being able to make 3D designs in it really easily. We were part of the design team, but we had to look into different plane designs and structures, which we then developed in CAD using Fusion 360. And in particular, I looked into aerofoil design to increase lift of the plane. Uh, and I looked into RC designs and more specifically at how they would work and how we could implement this into our design. We also looked into scales and manufacture, such as laser cutting, since our plane was designed for people to use all over the world, and laser cutting and CAD is probably the most efficient way to do that. I think the most enjoyable part of the GOLD project is to design from an open brief and have the freedom to design what you want. Uh, my enjoyable part was when we actually got to test a uh, plane, and see it actually working. So it's actually mind blowing how it actually built it, how it's actually flying. But the most enjoyable part was probably just coming down to the workshop every Wednesday and just um, just being able to make stuff uh, like colours. It's um, that's all just what we really enjoy. I think one of the most enjoyable parts of was the fact that we were the Leonardo company has given us such a free range of um, the what we can do, and they weren't they didn't have any limits, and so they gave us what we needed and. It was basically up to us and our imagination and what we could create. That's quite, that's quite fun. Uh, the experience of working in a team will be uh, extremely valuable for my group projects in my university course. Uh, we also had to present in front of our company and that presentation skills are useful for pretty much any sort of uh, degree or degree apprenticeship. Uh, a lot of us are trying to become engineers in the future and uh, this has become a, a great essential uh, learning experience to, to further our knowledge into the field. Absolutely, just go for it. It's a great experience, you won't regret it.
would say the problems that you encounter are probably going to be the one that, ones that stick in your memory the most after you finish with it. If you are thinking about getting involved, I would strongly recommend it. And when you do, just get involved, get hands in and listen to all the advice the mentors give, all your teachers and you will have a very enjoyable experience. Overall, it was an amazing experience for all of us. Thank you for watching and hopefully we've inspired you to get involved.